let's learn about the contextual app pill as well as the utilities within your next experience unified navigation header of your ServiceNow instance. And by the end of this video, you'll be well in the driver's seat navigating your ServiceNow instance. In fact, let's head on over to my personal developer instance so we can get a look around. Now be sure to follow along, that way you can get some hands-on experience. All right, in the previous video, we talked about the functionality of the logo as well as the navigation tabs. And if you missed that video, I'll be sure to link it below. Next, right in the center of the header is the contextual app pill, and it reflects the name of the current landing page. This way, you can always know where you are in your instance. From the home page, the contextual app pill says service now, letting you know that you're on the home page. Let's go to the all menu, and we'll select service catalog. Notice how the contextual app pill changes to catalog. Now let's click the logo to go back to the home page. Notice how the contextual app pill now says service now, letting us know that we're on the home page. Now at the far right are the utilities. This is the fourth zone of your instance. It starts with the global search. You can use the global search to search your entire instance. You can also place the name of a record number to be pulled up. And see, here's the record for this incident number. Let's navigate back to the home page. Next, you'll see this globe. Now, this globe lets you know about the application scope. What you should know is that if you see a red ring around this globe, that you're in a scoped application. And we'll talk more about that later. Next is the help icon. It appears as an encircled question mark, and by selecting it, you can get access to on-demand help. You see this bell? This is the notifications icon, represented as this bell, and alerts you to updates that require your attention. And finally, to the far right of the header, we have the user menu, which allows you to personalize your instance. Now, my user menu has my initials KA, and you see profile, preferences, impersonate user, printer-friendly version, and logout. Now, your selections here may differ based on your role. For example, impersonate user is something that's only available to admins. Now, when we select preferences, a pop-up appears. It says display, accessibility, notifications, and finally debugging. I'll go ahead and close out of this by selecting the X at the dialog box. Now meet me in the next video where I help you simplify your workflow by using the favorites menu. Let's go.